action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. Tonight, it's the... The Suns win the opening tip. They'll have it first as we get going in the desert. Oh, and not a good pass there as it's stolen by Utah. Favors. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. Oh, that's a great way to make an opening statement. It's about the team that's able to punch the other team in the mouth first. That's exactly what you want to do if you're the road team. His first effort off the mark. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Here's Rubio into the front court. Two-point advantage. Jay, we talk about it all the time. The coaches in this league, who best puts their players in a position to shine? And now I give you Quinn Snyder. I remember Quinn Snyder, after an ugly loss to Atlanta last year, really made some changes to their system. And here's the thing I love about Quinn Snyder. He recruited me when I was 15 and 16 years old. He was an assistant coach at Duke. The way he spoke to me really got me to buy in. He taught me that it was about being part of something bigger than yourself. And when you buy into what Quinn Snyder preaches, that's how you end up beating OKC in the first round NBA playoffs. Nice work inside, Derek Favors. Ed, I have a rule. If you're 6'9 or taller, I don't want to see you jelly it. I don't want to see any kind of weird spin or English on the ball. Just dunk it. Keep it simple, please. Rudy Gobert! Huge block! That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Good look that time, but off the mark. Well, you can't finish with your right hand on the left side of the rim. You actually have to use your opposite hand. Steve Nash is one of the best at this. Different shots at different angles up the glass, expecting that there are trees down below with long wingspans that can block your shot. Now the Suns come up with the steal. Now push it. Let's attack and transition so we can build this lead. Favors. Mitchell on the drive, but he can't finish. Dragon Bender rejects it. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Can't connect from inside. To Mikhail Bridges. Mikhail Bridges with the strong finish. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Utah with the possession. Rubio. Stuffs it down with authority. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with ferocity. You always set the tone. Now a drive, but the shot won't fall. On the follow. Way to stay with it. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Mitchell with the basketball. 10-6, our score. To Joe Ingles. Down low to Favors. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Booker. Oh, he had it. Rubio into the front court. The score 10 to 8. Oh, they called the foul, Jay. Just a tic-tac foul. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Here's a chance from long range. It's no good. Shots not going down. Josh Jackson to Crawford. Nice finish at the rim. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Here's Rubio up top. The score 12 to 8. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a proud city. To Corver. Grayson Allen gets it in the left corner. 
Down to five on the 24. For three. Can't connect. To Jackson. And they call the foul. Jay, he was there too late. I say this a lot, and it's only because coaches harp on it all the time. Read the scouting report. Know who you can and should send to the line. This is a case of knowing a shooter probably had a better chance of hitting a jumper than he does of hitting the free throws. Two for two on that trip. There we go. Yes, sir. Utah's got it. No good. Defense catching a break there. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot that the offense takes, make sure that it has a 10 as far as degree of difficulty. Here's Rubio into the front court. Down eight. Finish that. Wait, I'm sorry. You get paid how much money to miss shots like that? That can't happen. We played one at Talking Stick Resort Arena with the Suns on top. Jay and I back with more after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started for the second quarter. Mitchell with it up top. Margins eight. Jay, 48 wins for Utah last year. Good for fifth in the West. What's the forecast now? I know Jazz fans may hate me on this one, but they'll be fifth or worse. I'm saying this is every team above them has two superstars or more. Who is going to be that second superstar to go along with Donovan Mitchell is a big time question for Quinn Zion. To Cal Bridges. Derek Favors snatching it out of the air. Donovan Mitchell with the rock. Trying to cash in. It's good. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Took it down the lane, but it's no good. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Corver. Screen coming. And they call it. Welcome to new age basketball. You blow on me. Are That's a foul. Are you serious? Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Favors matched up with Bender. Layup goes down. Well done. No doubt about where that one was headed. A good defense by the Jazz as they come away with it. He cruises into too easy. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Booker. A good defense by the Jazz as they come away with the steal. Driving right to the basket. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. For any fans out there that thought Donovan Mitchell didn't put any stock into the fact that he was not the rookie of the year, you are wrong. Donovan Mitchell is that type of guy that uses everything in his power to fuel him to be the best on the court each and every day. If that was a campaign he built with Adidas, rookie question mark, it doesn't matter. That perceived failure is something that will only make this kid better tomorrow. To favors. shot no good that's how you do it you keep riding him to the basket and if the refs aren't calling it keep being physical keep knocking him off balance finishing inside the paint on that one you normally don't see that but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time every once in a while they venture into the paint oh not a good pass there as it's stolen by Utah we're gonna see a team take the lead here and finishes strong. Now the Suns going to signal for a timeout as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point ball game. New blood coming in for both sides.
Can't connect from in close. It's easy, force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Ricky Rubio, he is shooting well. He's made two thirds of his shots. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Slam dunk, DeAndre Ayton. Oh man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Rubio. Mitchell. Ah, tough shot. Hand in his face. He makes them pay. You see, the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens. They recognize how they were being guarded on a previous set, and then they make the necessary adjustments. Rubio into the front court. Final minute, first half. And look out. Big finish at the rim. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Rubio to Favors. Slam dunk, Derek Favors. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Ricky Rubio, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 83% free throw shooter. Second one up the mark. He goes one for two to Booker. Fires the three. That's off the side of the rim, short. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Down to Gobert. Short jumper stays out. Rudy Gobert sends it away. Rubio, that's three now on four shots. Straight on three at the buzzer. That'll do it for the first half. The Jazz in command of this one. Back to Ed and Jake. Rudy Gobert returns last year. The Jazz go on their run. Jay, how reliant is Utah on the Frenchman? I would say pretty heavily, considering he's the reigning NBA Defensive Player of the Year. This team has to win it on the defensive end. That is the mentality of the Utah Jazz. Rubio. Open look, and he buries it. Defense has to wake up. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Knocked loose. Jazz pick it up. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Not that tough. And a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Now whistle. We'll get a timeout from Phoenix as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Booker. He missed his first four from downtown. He finally gets a three to go. I'm going to tell you what every shooter thinks after he misses four in a row. One has to go in eventually. Wide open look won't go. I don't know why he rushed that shot. He was wide open. Take your time. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Suns. Rubio, a pass stolen by Phoenix. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort, it's off the charts. Here's Rubio up top. His team leads it by 10. To Gobert, rises for the slam. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. A good defense by the Jazz as they come away with it. To Favors. 
Ah, missed it. How'd that not go down? Booker with it. 14-point deficit. Let's it fly from long range. The follow won't go either. Rudy Gobert in a matchup with Booker to Rubio. And the defender over-pursues, and he's called for it. He took a chance. That's the right call. Shifting gears. Here comes some substitutions. Favors here against Bender. To Rubio. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Four three. Not that time. He misses. Into the front court. It's Booker. Trailing by 14. And the finish at the rim. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Here's Rubio into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Mikhail Bridges. To Booker. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Utah ball. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Ricky Rubio at the line for two shots. Shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. Able to convert on both free throws. To Booker. Big finish at the rim. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. To Corver. To Rubio. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And the Suns right there for the rebound. To Jackson. Yes! And a foul! Hell of a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Josh Jackson at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. Free throw good to cap off the three-point play. That cuts it to a seven-point game. Grayson Allen. Here comes the screen. Fires the three, cleans it up, slams it home on the putback. He's a relentless scorer. It doesn't matter if you stop him once. He's going to keep coming at you time and time again. And the finish, slam dunk. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. And a whistle. Ah, his timing was a tad bit off. And hits the first free throw. And gets both to drop at the line. Devin Booker. Devin Booker is going to get a chance at three here. A career 84% free throw shooter. Misses the first. It's a second. One more coming. Mm -hmm. 
just inside the arc. At the buzzer, this quarter is over. Jazz have the lead. It'll be Suns basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. And I think the best way to describe where they stand right now is they're down, but they're not out. It's a game we used to play in the league all the time. It's called a series of stops. That means get three stops in a row. Each game is a game within the game. You get three stops in a row, and then another three stops in a row, you're right back in this ballgame. To Corver. Joe Ingles. Beyond the arc for three. Tough shot for Joe Ingles. No good. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Josh Jackson trying to cash in on the three-point play. He's perfect from the line so far. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. That slices the lead down to four. Donovan Mitchell with the rock. To Corver. And scores. Stepping east, then stepping west, and laying the ball right down the line. Covering all areas of the map. Great look and vision from long range. Not that time. He missed it. Mitchell with the basketball. Up by six. Oh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Buries it on the catch and shoot. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch. But great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Mitchell with it up top. It's a nine-point lead. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Almost unlucky bounce to Mikhail Bridges. Going to launch beyond the arc. Buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. And your big is the one making that happen. Every time he's involved in a PNR, he's slipping it, forcing that guy from the weak side to come down and help. Quick skip passes equal threes in the bank. Donovan Mitchell with the rock. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Oh, nice find for the basket. It's really a dope thing when passing becomes infectious. But don't become overly passive. Still take your shots when they're there. Oh, too much contact. Free throws on the way. No, no, no. I'll tell you. The team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reaching fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. And he connects on the first free throw. And he makes them both. The screen sets him up for two. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost him. To Gobert. Well, you can't do that. Those cat-like hands almost got a steal. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Stepping in for Phoenix. Favors matched up with Bender. Dragon Bender able to recover with the block. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Five seconds to shoot. Has a look. Missed it. Not much more you could ask for from the defense there. To Booker. Ricky Rubio with the block. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The 
offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. to the basket, but he can't get it to go. The follow won't go either. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. Rubio. Reset here, let's see what they... Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Suns with the basketball. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. One boy, not just that. Very important free throw, up and good. Three-point play puts them up by a point. Rubio into the front court. He'll run the offense. Screen coming. They'll look to Bender down low. He gets it. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Rubio. Mitchell, tough shot, well defended, Booker with it, leads three, and he finishes at the rim, Jazz will take a timeout, that's their second of the final three minutes, no more timeouts left the rest of the game. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. It's the Suns with the victory as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Sports post game wrap up. The Suns and Mark Torian are a Titan. They did it with blocks and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Phoenix Suns. The Jazz must be dedicated. At such a close loss. The way they shot the ball was outstanding, but even still, it wasn't enough to get the result they wanted. More often than not, you're gonna win games when you shoot the ball as well as they did here today. Game track, no goals. Neither of these teams were able to make much of an impact on defense. As you can see here, they were each pretty successful with some efficient scoring. Player of the game. Devin Booker played the role of facilitator today, and no one is more happy than his teammates.
Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.